All right, Eddie, so I went ahead and removed the MLB game, so now we are not getting that message about there being less than, you know, 500 megabytes of storage um, on the system, uh, which I show you here, because now after just removing that one game, we are sitting at 26 gigabytes free, so you're not going to be running into that error message anymore. Um, I went ahead and did a fresh install of Multiman, or I'm sorry, not Multiman, Webman Games, just because that was giving you issues. Um, and one of the things that you did say was the PSP games are no longer working, so I'll just show you here. Get your little notification that it's been loaded. Yeah, and I apologize if you can hear my fan whipping at top speed in the background. I wonder if there's a problem. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, no save data file. Yeah, let's go ahead and create that. Fantastic. And we have our third birthday PSP game loaded in and working correctly. So PSP is down. You also made mention about potentially the PS1 and the PS2 games not uh, loading properly. So give me two seconds, we're gonna run a couple of those. PlayStation 2. I'll just do a random load, whatever. Clock Tower 3 it is. PlayStation 2 games loading. And I don't know if you saw where it said there on the screen checking PlayStation memory card in slot 2. Um, kind of goes back to one of those other things that you had requested, but uh, I'll, I'll, we'll circle back around to that. Yeah, it's produced by Capcom. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Clock Tower 3 loaded in properly. And we're going to quit. Yep. Let's go ahead and just run a PlayStation title, and we'll do a random pick. Talk about racing, always a classic. Oh, I wonder if I just hit the memory thing there. Give me one second here. I may have to try and load that again. Just because a lot of times when you switch between them, it is stuck in the memory. You may have to do a restart of the system. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and pause that real quick. I'll be right back.